my channel this is Zeno Allen Beauty and today's video is going to be a story time it's going to be a story time about the time where I tried to join a sorority in high school so um I'm going to be trying to do my well, I'm going to try and do my makeup um while I'll tell this story but um just a warning like I'm bad at telling stories because I try to tell like every detail so yeah I'm just going to go ahead and start with this story time so this happened when I was in high school. I was in the 11th grade and me and a friend at the time, we decided that um, we wanted to join a sorority because our high school had their own so um, sorority and fraternity. Um, I can't remember the name of it and um, I really don't even want to say the name of the sorority or my high school that I went to. So yeah, um, I forgot exactly like how we... Um, sign up but um basically the um girls that signed up um they were given a letter and so the sorority had someone come to your class like they had it like hand delivered to your classroom um like during class or whatever and so i remember getting this letter and i was like really excited about getting this letter i don't know why but um <laughs> So yeah, I got the letter and so basically the letter was like almost like an invitation or like a um like an invitation to like a meeting to where they can um like get to know you but honestly like I didn't know anything about sororities at the time so I really didn't even know like the whole process and mind you like this is a sorority like in a high school not like a university or whatever so it wasn't even like a real like legit sorority um so yeah so I got this letter and basically it was just telling me like a date and a time for um, my meeting. I'm not even really sure like what it was called at the time, but basically it was like a meeting or like an interview um, to uh, meet the sorority or whatever. Um, and it's so they can like ask you questions. So yeah, I'm supposed to be doing my makeup. I forgot. Oh yeah. So um, in the letter, it had mentioned something about dressing up. Um, and I believe it said something about wearing heels and like, I'm in high school. I didn't even, um, I didn't even like own a pair of heels, honestly. So I didn't have a pair of heels. Yeah. Like a couple of days go by. I can't even remember like, um, how far apart this was, but it happened like really quick. The day of the meeting of my interview came and i had forgot all about it and the reason why i had even remembered is because my friend at the time she had mentioned something about it and i was like oh i didn't even dress up or nothing like i had on like sandals that day but i wasn't dressed bad or nothing well i had on sandals that day like my feet were out i didn't have on no dress shoes or nothing so um the meeting was actually like after school like the whole day i'm just like thinking about this meeting you know like what's going to happen because i'm not even dressed up and i forgot that it was the meeting that day so i'm just like kind of nervous about what they're going to say because i'm not dressed up i don't have any heels on school is over and then i get to um oh i had to meet them in a classroom it was like an empty classroom and so like I'm walking down this hallway and I'm like real nervous like it wasn't really anyone on the hallway either which was like kind of weird but um yeah so I get to the classroom the classroom was like at the end of the hallway so like I get to the classroom and then they're all like all the girls in the sorority are like already inside the classroom so they're just like sitting there waiting for me and so they're all like surrounded by like a teacher's desk or whatever in the classroom and there's like a desk like a school desk that's like sitting in front of the desk that they're at so um i sat down or whatever and then like i walked in and i can't even remember like if i said hey or whatever because i was like so nervous but um yeah so they're already in there they're not saying anything they didn't i don't even think they said hey or anything like they were just looking or whatever or they were like talking to each other but it was like really quiet and i don't even remember like a um like a teacher or anybody being in there or like a person that was like ahead of the sorority or whatever 
um in the classroom it was just the girls in there and so um i guess you can say like she was like the captain of the sorority but she was like sitting in the teacher's chair so i'm guessing like she was like ahead of the sorority or whatever and so um i sit down and i'm not saying anything because i'm like really nervous about this whole thing or whatever <laughs> So I sit down and then they're um like they're just looking like they're not even saying anything. So I'm just looking back and I'm just like, you know, like what's about to happen. And so they start they started like whispering in each other's ear and then they were like giggling. So I'm just sitting there looking real stupid. So like I'm not even sure like what they were talking about or whatever, but I see them like looking down. So I'm guessing they're they notice that I have on sandals, like I don't have on heels. So yeah, so um finally when they get done laughing or whatever they were doing, um the head girl or whatever, she asked me, I believe she asked me like what did I have on or whatever. And so I just came out and told her I was like, well, I was like, honestly, I forgot today was the meeting. Um, and then I told her, I was like, well, I don't even have a pair of heels. Cause like, I didn't wear heels. So like she starts, like she had like a smirk on her face or whatever. So I'm just sitting there. I'm not even saying anything. And so, um, finally she starts, um, asking me questions and I can't even remember like all of the questions that she asked. I do remember one of the questions she asked me, like, if I don't, like, if they don't pick me this year, will I try again um, next year? And I told her no. The reason why I said that is because they were sitting there laughing. Like, it was just real childish. And I'm not even sure. I guess all sororities do that. But, um, like, like I said, I, at the time, I didn't even know anything about sororities. Like, I didn't know that they did stuff like that. Um, I guess they were, I'm guessing they were, like, testing me. I'm not even sure what was going on. But I just don't feel like it was right for them to like laugh just because I had on sandals. Like that was really stupid. I was like real embarrassed because they were just sitting there like whispering. Like they were talking about me right in my face. <laughs> Which was like so embarrassing. Like because that has never happened to me. Well when I was in high school like that never happened to me before. So I was just like kind of confused. And I didn't even know none of the girls like personally. I just know they went to my high school and they were like in that sorority or whatever. But yeah, um, after that, um, yeah, so after that happened or whatever, so I leave from out of the classroom, go home or whatever. I believe it was like the next day, um, the other girl that was like joining, well, um, that wanted to join the sorority or whatever, she, um, Oh, we, we both were like talking about what happened. So I had told her what happened um, during the whole meeting or whatever. And so um, I think she ended up, she ended up getting um, like another invitation or whatever. I think they sent out like roses. I remember that. They, they sent out like roses to the people that they chose or whatever. Yeah, she ended up getting one. And so she ended up getting a rose um, like delivered to our classroom. And so they all, like, the girls who got the roses, which I didn't get one because they didn't pick me or whatever. But, um, yeah, so she got the rose or whatever, and then they had to meet, like, in the cafeteria for whatever reason. So it was, like, a whole bunch of them, like, in the cafeteria. Like, I wasn't there, but, um, later on, the other girl, she had told me, like, what happened because I had asked her because I was, like, real curious about what happened. <laughs> so, um, yeah, she told me. I was, like, well, um... Yeah, I had asked her, I was like, so what happened? Like, like, what did y'all do or what did they say? And so she told me that, um, she told me that all they did was like yell at them. <laughs> she told me like all they did was like yell at them. Like they basically was like talk, like yelling at them, like, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm guessing that's what sororities do. I'm not sure, but like, um, I don't know. It's just like something about that part of sororities that really like turned me off because it's like, 
a group of girls and then it's like they're like most of the stories are like really like filled with drama and and that was just like a high school story so I can only imagine like how sororities are in college which I <clears throat> didn't get a chance to experience so that really turned me off about sororities like because before this whole incident happened Like, I was real curious about sororities, and I, I really wanted to join one. But after that whole experience, like, it, it really turned me off. Like, I was so embarrassed. Um, Like, during that whole interview. And I'm not even going to say that it, it messed up my self-esteem, because, like, honestly, I didn't even know anything about, like, low self-esteem or whatever. I didn't know I was, like, embarrassed. But, um... Like, later on, I just, like, forgot about it. Because, like, after um, my friend, as she had told me that all they did was, like, yell at them. I was like, okay, like, I'm so glad they did not pick me because I didn't want to be a part of that. Like, I just don't understand why sororities do that. And even, like, fraternities, too. Like, I know fraternities, like, are way worse. Yeah, I'm so glad that they did not pick me. Like, they probably just knew that I wasn't even going <laughs> to. They probably knew I wasn't even going to deal with it what they were doing so that was a story time about the time i tried to join a sorority and they really tried to play me but i just cannot believe like even though that happened like when i was in high school it's like one of the things that you would never forget because it was like a embarrassing moment after that like i didn't even like i didn't like seeing nothing about sororities <laughs> because i just thought that all of them were like that and i'm pretty sure like the ones that are like in um in a university are like way more intense um than the one that was like just in a high school but yeah it's just like one of the things like you would never um forget because it was just like an embarrassing moment but now i'm glad i can just laugh about it like have y'all ever wish you can like relive an embarrassing moment like that was just one of the moments where i wish i can just like relive all over Cause it was just that embarrassing. <laughs> well, they made me feel embarrassed, like just because I didn't have on heels and like nut, like they weren't even dressed up. They had on like those like collared polo type of shirts. It wasn't. I don't even think it was like real polo, but um, yeah, they had on those type of shirts and like I think they had on jeans and then like some heels. Like right, take fifty seven. <laughs> like I keep messing up on this outro. But yeah, um, that's the end of this story time. I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. I'll be posting more story times on my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And leave a comment below if you ever try to join a sorority and let me know what happened. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.